Hello friends, Ben here for Giant Loop, and today let's talk about some of the most frequently asked questions and tips and tricks for our brand new Cactus Canteen water carrying bladders. So our brand new Cactus Canteen launches this month, February 2023. We're so excited to get these into your hands and we think you're going to agree that it's the most rugged and versatile water carrying system for camping, moto camping, overlanding, car camping, whatever it is you're doing out there. So we've thoroughly tested these bags, had them out in a myriad of real world scenarios with various different types of riders. And along the way, we collected sort of some frequently asked questions and hints and tips that we want to pass on to you as you're starting your time enjoying the fabulous product that is the Giant Loop Cactus Canteen. One of the things we didn't anticipate is that not everyone is super familiar with how hydration bladders work, particularly in a hydration pack. So as you know, Giant Loop is now partnered with USWE, the hydration pack manufacturer from Sweden, and uh, we use some of their technology in the all new Cactus Canteen, particularly the quick release spout here on the bottom of the Cactus Canteen. There's been some questions about how to use this spout, and I'm here to tell you it's quick and easy, and let me just demonstrate it for you. This piece right here, this is the spout itself. This actually comes off. You just press the big red button, it releases it, it's a quick release, and to put it back in or to replace it with something else, you just push it in, but it has to click. If you just put it in like this, it won't stay in. You gotta go all the way until it clicks, kind of like a seat belt with that big red button. It's quick and easy to switch this, the default kind of hose that comes with it for other accessories, including say you have a gravity filter that you wanna use with a hose. This is the exact same connector on this Sawyer gravity filter, and it just plugs in just as easily and then comes right out just as easily. That's how the quick release works. A couple other things to know. The default spout has an on and off position. So in the off position where it's all the way compressed, it will not flow water. But if you just pull this out like that, it, the water will begin to flow. So that's how you control the flow. Closed, open, closed, open. So just make sure that it's closed when you attach it to your bag. And then when you're hanging it from a tree or your handlebars or whatever, you just pull on the bottom to get the water to start flowing and gravity does the rest. One more thing to know is that there's a small red rubber O-ring on the bottom of this quick connect spout. And it's important to keep that O-ring lubricated. You don't have to use oil or anything like that. Just water, spit, whatever you want to put on it. But just don't let that O-ring dry out because you will eventually get some leaking. So if you haven't used your canteen for the whole winter, for instance, maybe just make sure that's wet before you start using it again in the summer or the spring or whenever you start riding again. But just something to watch out for. There's a little red rubber O-ring. Just keep your eye on it. This spout zips right up and goes right into the pouch on the bottom of the bag. Quick and easy, zip it up, that's waterproof, you're good to go. Also, I should note that in my last video about the Cactus Canteen, I took some liberties with it and spent some time running it over with my motorcycle. And while we do believe the Cactus Canteen will stand up to that kind of abuse, we do not recommend that you do that. That's not what it's for, it's not designed to be a kicker. So that will obviously void your warranty if you're using it as a, as a kicker, trying to ride over it with your motorcycle. While the bladder and the outer shell, it's not gonna affect them. You could get it wrong and, and break the valve or something. It'll take some abuse, but maybe don't abuse it on purpose. That's all we're saying. Let's talk about how to clean the Cactus Canteen. The best way is to take this screw top lid off, turn it upside down, empty it out completely, and then hang it up to dry upside down. That's if you've been storing water in it. If you put anything else in here, if you add some electrolytes or Gatorade, if you're putting beer in it, which is again, not a recommended use, but I think it would probably work. You have to clean this very thoroughly. Anything other than water, and you gotta make sure you get this cleaned out because if you don't, it can mold. That's just how it works when you have a cold, wet, damp area with uh, sugar or something left over inside the bag. So we recommend just using it for water, but if you choose to use it for something else, well, Wash it, wash the thing. And the easiest way to wash it, unscrew the top here, remove the cap, take the keeper off, and then you can actually unzip the bottom here, reach in and push the bladder all the way out, and you can clean it that way. That's the best way to clean your Cactus Canteen. One more thing to watch out for, uh, you need to be careful when you're filling the Cactus Canteen or at least keep an eye on it because it is possible if you have like water spilling out over the edges or whatever that it can get down between, keep in mind this is a two layer construction, so it's possible for water to get between the TPU bladder and the exterior Cordura shell and if it does that it will slowly seep out the bottom and you will think that your uh, Cactus Canteen is leaking. But really all it's done is trap a bunch of extra water in there and that's slowly seeping out the bottom zipper or you'll find it in your bottom zipper. So 
If you think your bag is leaking, make sure that you haven't gotten any water in between the two layers. Maybe do the turn it inside out trick. Two more frequently asked questions I forgot to talk about. One, can you put hot water in it? Hot as in shower temperature water is okay. Or using your jet boil to boil a bunch of water and then dumping it directly in the bag is not okay. So warm shower temperature, yes. Boiling water, no, do not put boiling water in the bag. We do not recommend it. The other question is the opposite of that. Can I freeze it? So if you want to put ice in this bag, we recommend just putting ice in the bag rather than putting water in the bag and then freezing it. If you are going to freeze it, keep in mind that water expands. So I wouldn't fill it more than halfway and maybe lay it down if you're going to freeze it before you use it to try to keep your water cold. But we recommend, the official recommendation is just put ice inside of it rather than uh, trying to freeze water in the bag. Back to Ben in the garage. I'm here to tell you these bags come with a lifetime warranty and if you experience issues, whatever kinds of issues, whether you think you caused them or not, please just give us a call or send us an email at ride at giantloopmoto.com and let us take care of you. We want to stand by our products, we want to take care of our customers and uh, we want to make sure you have what you need to enjoy your Cactus Canteen and all of our other products for a lifetime. That is the point of the lifetime warranty, it's why we offer it. So what questions do you have about the Cactus Canteen? Have you gotten your Cactus Canteen? Are you using it yet? Let us know that in the comments. And if there's enough common questions, we'll do another one of these videos later. But I just wanted to get in front of you with the most common questions and issues that we see on these new Cactus Canteens so that you are as ready and prepared as possible to enjoy your new item to the fullest. Please consider subscribing to the channel for more gear overviews, hints, tips, and tricks, monthly specials, things like that. And don't forget that all YouTube subscribers save 10% on giantloopmoto.com with promo code subscriber. Thank you for watching. Go light, go fast, go far with Giant Loop.